Push back ready. Please release park brakes and use the throttle to control the tug gas. Use park brakes to finalize the operation. N680 TA pushback at the route. Pushback ready. Please release park brakes and use the throttle to control the tug gas. Use park brakes to finalize the operation. N680 TA pushback at the route. Cincinnati, taxi two, runway one eight left for departure. 
to Salt Lake City. And once we get airborne a little bit, I'll cut the video. If we run into any weather situations in route, then I will turn the video back on during weather. And then at the end, on our arrival to Salt Lake City, I will turn the video back on. And we'll get our Salt Lake City arrival. And then I will try to combine all that into one movie and see what happens. So, here we go. Tax of the runway. 1 8 left for departure. I'm using the 3D mode today, which will give you a little more of an idea of the cockpit uh, setup. You can see all the instruments a little better. It's a little more realistic. Not all the aircraft have this 3D panel, or what they call a virtual panel. And so we'll be using the virtual panel today for this flight, and uh, see how it works. I don't have any ATC on, we will get rid of the headset momentarily. Since I haven't connected yet, I need to do that. All I'm doing now is connecting online. The alternative airport being the tower. It's KPIH. Our altitude today would be 320. Our, our land speed is 471 knots. Our flying time is scheduled at three hours and 43 minutes, although I do believe we could probably be a quicker than that. 3.43, I'm showing an allowable fuel of four hours and 45 minutes. The flight plan is out of Bubby. Showing a lovely five out of uh, with an AFC transition out of Cincinnati with a OCS transition, Roxbury transition, and a three getting into a solid city. So I think I need to do something here. I need to check the picture and reset this one at nine one more time. So I will set a system we're using, communication system. Nobody is online right now that I need to communicate with. So I think we're going to do this one and so far. Let's see if I can do a couple of things right now. We'll continue our taxi. Clear runway 17 left for departure. Three uh, ATCs on right now uh, Washington Center, Minneapolis Center, and New York Center. We may deal with Minneapolis Center, but I think we'll be south of their airspace. At Kansas City Center or Denver Center, I think we would be more likely to run into communication. And maybe later Salt Lake City Center will be on. And we'll get to see what happens. Breaks here, I'll be typing in an announcement, letting the any aircraft in the area know that I'm going to be departing this runway and uh, the rest of my territory.
he's putting me at it. Uh, we're departing runway 17 left on a Levy 5 departure with an AFC transition, climbing to flight level 320. So we should proceed. Turning landing lights on, our icing is on, and we turn our autopilot on at the same time. And we should show that it being on. Okay, our autopilot and everything is on, so we should be good to go here momentarily. Okay. Give it a little power to get us to the runway. One of the first things we do when we break down, of course, is once we have positive climb, it's to raise the landing gear, and I will raise the flaps once I get to a speed that I feel comfortable with. And we should be just about ready to go. Let me raise this up just a little bit so I can see some controls that I need to get to. Now, I may go back to the main panel for this. I got some things I need to hit in order to do that, so let's get rolling. I just turned on the auto throttle to get us enough power to take off. And then shortly we will, I will hit the V-Nav, which is a vertical navigator, which will give us our climb rate to a good point. And get us off the ground. And in about 100 knots, I will initiate the vertical control, the vertical climb. Okay, with 105, 110, 20 knots. We're going to start a climb out. And we're off the ground, so the gear's going up. Also, I'm going to at this time raise the flaps. And I'm going to hit the localizer, which is now set up to take us on our route. So at this point, we're flying autopilot all the way. Show us where we're headed. This is our first waypoint. We're going on to a rest. Next one. It just told us we're clear of thousands. These are our engine controls over here. It shows our engine status. Up here is the autopilot, which shows the, what we have set. We are setting on the localizer. Our speed is set. And our vertical navigation is set. So we reach the altitude we want to go. And notice this is the altitudes and our climb rates uh, are automatically programmed in to raise the aircraft. So we should be on our way at this point. And we want to look around a little bit. You can see this is, you can see our shadow on the ground down here. You could have just gone to go. And over here should be, oh no, we're not going to see the airport yet. So we'll bring it back center again. And we'll look the other way and see what it's like there. Let's see if we can look down a little bit. Side, which is highway over there. And we should be making another turn to the right here momentarily. And about a, about a mile or so, and we'll see if we can still see our shadow on the ground. Okay, here we turn, and then take a look over here. See if our shadow is still on the ground over here someplace. Uh, I don't see it. Let's see. It's out over here, we might see our shadow yet. As we level out. No, unfortunately, don't see our shadow. This particular view is controlled by the mouse and also some keys on the keyboard. We're just going to set it back up now and continue on our way. You notice we're climbing now through 5400 feet. And I think uh, we're turning into, uh, you'll notice we just made another turn, so we're going up to 10,000 feet. We'll look one more time over here for our channel and see if we see it. Probably not at this point. Uh, let's see if we see the, uh, let's see if we're going to see the airport either. We just left. 
at this point, I'm going to turn off the video, and I will be running some weather in route. I shall turn the video back on and uh, do another one of the weather that we get. Don't know what the weather is going to be like. Do you think me in there? I need to check the weather uh, maps and see what's looking. But uh, right now, we're pretty much on our way and ready to go. So I'm going to turn off the video. And we'll turn it on again. We're going to get some weather.